Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your initials, um, uh, KN, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons. And I'm going to listen to, it looks like, independent speaking practice test number 40. And let's take a look at what this question is first. Okay, so what cultural element do you think is the most difficult for a visitor to learn when coming to your country? Use specific details and examples to support your explanation. The most difficult for a visitor is too hard to communicate with Japanese people. There you go. So let's go back to what you just said in the beginning. The most difficult for a visitor is too hard to communicate with Japanese people. Okay. Because they are too shy. If you visit Japan, I would say instead of they are too shy, I would say because they are so shy. If you say they're so shy, you're just making a statement about the characteristics of the people in your country. If you say they're too shy, but I guess it depends on the meaning, that, that's going to have more of a negative meaning. If you're saying they're too shy, you're saying they should not be that shy, they should be less shy. So it kind of depends on what type of connotation you want to put on the word shy will depend on whether you use the word so or the word too. This place in public place, like a train or park or yeah, I would say public places. Make that plural because you're giving examples of several different places. So be careful when you have a noun which is plural and you put S on it. In some cases, you have to create an additional syllable. So you can go to my lessons on grammatical word endings and syllable division in the pronunciation section of my course if you want to learn more about the rules with syllable division and grammatical word endings. I think there are a lot of Japanese people, but if you want to ask somewhere to go to or to go to a restroom, Japanese people react to weird and they feel weird. Maybe they ignore you. And why is that? So they may react weird because in Japanese culture, it is an invasion of personal space to talk to a stranger. You might see something like that, and that helps to clarify the ideas that you're saying. That's why it's very difficult for to communicate with Japanese people. So that's why it's difficult to communicate with Japanese people. Alright, so let's go to the, to the beginning here. The most difficult for a visitor is too hard to compete with Japanese people. You said compete with Japanese people, but I don't think that's what you mean there. I think that you're meaning to communicate with them. So your word choice in the beginning, I think, was a little confusing. And then what you said after that was unexpected. It didn't quite connect back to what you were saying. All right, so now let's take a look at the rubrics here. Now, first of all, you get 100 points for doing the assignment, so thank you for doing that. Now, let's take a look at your score. So for TOEFL purposes, you're having some problems with your delivery, which means you should be working in the pronunciation part of my course on a regular basis in order to develop a more native speaker-like uh, accent. Number two, you had some language use issues, as I pointed out. For example, in the beginning, you used the word compete. At least it sounded like the word compete, but you probably wanted a different word there. So you have to be careful of your language use. Topic development, you talk about things in a very limited, basic sense. So you're having difficulties getting into what I call precise language, precise vocabulary. So you need to be a little more specific in the ideas that you say, and that's partly a vocabulary issue for you. So uh, if you need to improve your vocabulary, go to a good start is vocabulary lesson number three, and go through those lessons and learn those 200 words. Once you've done that, then you can go to vocabulary lesson four and learn those words, then vocabulary lesson five, 
And finally, vocabulary lesson number six. And that will expand your vocabulary to about 1,700 college-level words. And you'll find that you'll be able to talk about things in a wider range of vocabulary. It'll, that means you can communicate more effectively if you can improve your vocabulary. All right, your score here, I'm going to put you at about 2.0 out of 4, 15 points out of 30 on this particular practice test.